All right, so Raspy Voice Kids, and we're back. Brandon Phoenix, a.k.a. I also hate Pitt, in the building with my homeboy and little brother. J.M. Fiend, I'm here. We talked about the offense. We gave out our homework assignments, and now it's time to give out the defensive homework assignments. What do we think Gibby and his dogs can do better? What do they have to do better if we're going to be success- successful next year? And like everything in football, it starts in the trenches. Bottom line, we weren't good enough. A lot of people want to complain about heart and effort. I felt like we, our guys played hard. I felt like our guys had effort. I, I even I, feel like they were prepared. I agree 100%. I hear people say, oh, I feel like when we get beat uh, at times during the year, people always say, oh, we weren't prepared or we weren't playing hard. I didn't feel that way. There's times where we just weren't good enough, and, we and that's just, what it was. And I feel like defensive line on the defensive line, we just weren't good enough. One of the things that tells you that we just weren't good enough is that a true freshman started at nose tackle for us. Now, he wasn't he was a freshman all American and he's Maserati Mont. He's Lamont Savage, he's a beast, he's a dog, he's a problem. But good teams, good defenses do not have freshmen, true freshmen starting on their defensive line. They don't. They very very <laughs> rarely will you find that. At Clemson, Alabama, Ohio State, <laughs> Georgia, you're just not okay, finding maybe, that. Maybe on, okay, okay, maybe not starting, but I think they get in the rotation. They might get in I the mean, rotation, I, but they're not starting, getting the majority of the snaps. That's not happening. And what that speaks to, though, is just our lack of talent in the trenches. We didn't have it this year. We didn't. Um, not, and I feel like those guys worked hard. I felt like when I watched our defensive line, I felt like they played hard. They played with heart and soul. They gave everything you want a Mountaineer to give. So I'm not mad at them. People are, there are so many people who are mad at the defense, who are mad at players, want to bash them. I, there's nothing to bash. They tried their best. They gave their all. You are what I, you are. You have what you have. I agree 100%. I feel like they want to end like – Sometimes you you nitpick and granted players can get better and there's certain things that they can do better uh, during the year. But when I watched them, they just uh, they weren't they weren't at a level that they needed to be this year and and that's what it was. And and every year we talk about uh, Gibby retooling his defense and we say no matter what he's going to retool. This is one of the exceptions. He, this is the exception to the rule this year because we weren't up to par and that's the bottom line. I don't feel like it was like a preparation. I don't feel like it was hard. We just we just weren't good enough. But the good news is we we started a true freshman and we played and we started two sophomores and Adam Schuler as a sophomore and Reese Donahue as Schuler, as a sophomore. And Reese Donahue, you could see as the year went on, got significantly better. He did. So that's what I look forward to. I feel like our defensive line will be significantly better next year. So our homework really is keep doing what you're doing. Add that depth. Add what we're what we're bringing in, especially with Dante Stills coming in. Add the depth to the rotation. So that there's not as much of a, uh, uh, not as much of a drop off, and we can win those battles in the trenches. Because in the three three five, as with most defenses, that's where it starts. You need a nose tackle who soaks up blocks, who commands a double team, and I think Lamont McDougal is going to be that guy. He didn't even have a full year in our weight system. He didn't have a full year uh, in in the strength and conditioning program. So wait till he does. And Schuler and Donahue will just get bigger and stronger and faster. And then Dante Stills coming in will be a huge boon to the defensive line for our guys. Personally, that's all that's all the homework I have for him. No, and I feel like I feel like they're great. Um, not great. I feel like they're more um um their their skills are more on run stopping. One thing I would like to see is w- we need to work work on our pass rushing from that too. You think we I did feel- well run stopping defensive line? I think uh, excuse me. I think they're better at run stopping than they are at at uh pass at uh pass rush. You don't agree with that? I mean, we had what? 5 sacks against Utah, 6. All right, we'll go back and look and see how many of those came from all out blitzes. That's my thing. Like I watched and I watched I I feel like our guys have have room to grow when it comes to being one on one against the offensive but it's not, line. But it's not one on one, it's 3 on 5. I've seen many plays this year where it's been one one. Now I'm not saying you got to be Bruce Irvin, and I'm not saying obviously they're young and they're talented and they can grow. And this is what we're doing. This is a homework assignment. I yeah. feel like we need to work on our pass rush from our defensive linemen. I feel like they're more geared toward stopping the run um, than being able to get after the quarterback, get off that block, that that block shedding. I felt like they got they got entangled and soaked up to where they didn't know which way to go. 
like I said, I, I feel like if I'm going to give them homework, let's get after the quarterback. Meet me at the quarterback. That's that's this year's theme. Meet me at the quarterback. Yep, I would love it. I would love to have Darius and Dante Stills, a brother to brother, meeting at the quarterback. That'd be so awesome. That would be so <laughs> awesome. Stills brothers at the quarterback. That's something that I'm looking forward to to see those guys uh, next year when we're, when we're talking about depth and talent. Because Darius got a lot of run this year too, as a tr- as a true freshman. Um, and I don't expect any less from Dante. They're so young. That's the thing. They're so young. It's, it's only up from here. Like I said, you know, it may have been a little rough this year, but it's it, it, all can do was go up. All can do was get better, and we're excited to see it. But like all things, you got to work for it, and I and I think they will. That moves us to our next level, which is at linebacker, and we lose a dog, um, a player that Dana Holgerson described as possibly the smartest player, definitely the smartest defensive player he's ever coached, possibly. He's one of the smartest players he's ever coached, period, quarterbacks included, and Al Rashid Benton, fifth-year senior, man in the middle, commanding that defense. He's going to be gone. And so we're going to need somebody else, not just to say, one shot, two shot, somebody (laughs) that made me hot, but also to be the eyes and the ears, to know where to be, when to be, and how to be. Brendan Ferns. Highly rated recruit, four-star, huge get for us. We beat out Penn State and Ohio State for him, but he's not been able to stay healthy. If he stays healthy, physically, he's that gifted. He tested out as elite. So hopefully when he's back and he's right, he'll be able to fill in the shoes and the role of Al Rashid Benton. And that's the homework and, for Brendan Ferns is to get healthy and to get confident. If he and, can get healthy and get confident – I'll be very happy about our linebackers because Dylan Tonkery and David Long are back. And Dylan Tonkery played so much this year because of injury. Yep. Um, and because, again, he also tested out as elite over the spring and the summer. So I'm excited. I, a lot of people are worried about our linebackers. I feel like we have talent at the linebacker position. Quandarius Qualls being another guy. I really think that we're not going to have a big drop off at linebacker. I think uh, we lose Xavier Preston and we lose uh, Al Rashid. That hurts, but I don't feel like I don't feel like we're going to be at a total loss. It's not something that I'm concerned about uh, as far as talent uh, and even to some extent experience. Yeah, no, I'm with you, um, Ferns. Uh, the thing, you know, the homework I'm going to give you is um, don't be Greg Oden. Okay. Please. <laughs> Please don't he be Greg Oden. can't be something Oden. every year. Like, he's so promising. He has such upside. Like, we're so excited. We beat we beat out Penn State. We watch him. We hear about his work ethic. We're excited to see him. All I ask you is to stay healthy. That's what I need you to do. And we know just, that's what just, he wants to do more than anything. Yeah, yeah. You know, I say it, you know, tongue in cheek. But, you know, don't be Greg Oden. Also, Tom. Man, Tonk is quick, and uh, he showed a lot of potential. What I need Tonk to do is just to sit at the table and eat. Eat. Get that weight up, man. Get, get that weight up. Get in the he's gym. He's fast. That's right. He's fast. Add some weight to that frame and lower the boom. He's Make fast. Him feel he's you. smart. He's just light in the pants. No, I mean, he's he's a freshman. What do you, I mean, what do you expect? The kid is young. That's what I'm saying, though. You know, another year uh, in the workout program, Sit down, eat your cheeseburger. Well, maybe not cheeseburger, but eat some, you know, food food that's go that, that's going to put some weight on your bones, and let's go. And which moves us now to the secondary. Now, as always, <laughs> where, where do you want to start? You want to go with the corners? You want to start with the safeties? Uh, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you take the lead. I'm gonna let you take the lead. I love our safeties. I love them. I feel like our safeties were excellent this year, but we're going to lose my favorite player from this year's team in Kaiser White. Kaiser White is a dog. He's going to get drafted. He's going to play in the NFL. He is a dog. Kaiser White, in my opinion, is the best of the three White brothers. He's better than Karan, who had 1,000 yards receiving this year. He's better than Kevin, who was a first-round draft pick by the Bears. What's the the point of saying all that? I know you're trying to hype him up, but... I'm going to hit you with the not so fast. I'm still going Kevin, but go ahead, continue. I'm just saying we're losing him, and that's (laughs) going to be a big blow to our defense. But I love that we still have Toyus Avery. I love that we have Drayvon Askew-Henry, who was not himself this year. Drayvon was a freshman All-American, four-star out of Aliquippa, who did not play to his potential this year, and I think it's because he's still not over the injury. Even though his body might have been physically healed, Sometimes it takes a while to get mentally and emotionally back to where you were. I don't know that as insider information. That's just the experience. That's just my 
that's just my um, observation. Yeah. I feel like Drayvon will get back to the Drayvon we expected to see this year, the guy who was picked first team all Big 12 uh, preseason. I think Drayvon will be, be himself. I think Toys Avery will be uh, another really good ball player for us. Derek Pitts, I think, is going Dariq. to show huge improvement from freshman to sophomore year. And then we all know about another boy from Aliquippa, Telly Mack, a.k.a. Quantel <laughs> Reigns, the crown jewel of this 2018 uh, recruiting class. I don't know how much run he's going to get, but I think the boy's going to be ready to play. And I think our safeties are going to be intact, especially depending on what happens with Kenny Robinson. We know that Kenny Robinson came in as a safety, played a lot of corner, so I think we're good. I think we're good at safety. I think we're, I think we're going to be, again, excellent no, at safety. I, I feel like you summed it up pretty nicely. The first thing we need to do is um, get Kenny Robinson a turnover chain, first and foremost. <laughs> How many times did he do it, man? That dude balled out. Um, I was... I also uh, I he love Drayvon and and I, I'm kind of with you like you watch him um, the playmaker that he was and then this year it's like he took a step back I feel like sometimes and like I said I'm not an expert this is just my general feeling I, I feel like you're trying to be an All American instead of just being an All American the kid yeah instead of just playing like instead I said he playing. may have had the you know the injury in the back of his mind or whatever it is but I do expect him to return to form because he's one of the best safeties he can be one of the best safeties and when he returns to form like I said he gets his focus right I feel like he'll he'll, he'll lead our dogs like he can him and him and David Long and the problem that we had in our secondary uh I uh, and Drayvon to me was an excellent example of it we didn't tackle well this year <laughs> <laughs> we didn't tackle well from the secondary. We went for big hits, which sometimes le- we just completely whiffed. Other times we would hit them, not wrap up, and the play would continue for a first down. We didn't tackle well. My homework assignment to the safeties, everybody's got to tackle. Make sure tackle. Tackle like your Kaiser White. Tackle like your David Long. That's the homework assignment I have for the safeties. Tackle. And that homework assignment is- extends to the corners because I feel like the corners didn't tackle very well. Now, of course um, – it's going to be interesting to see who actually plays at corner next year. We don't know all, all of that yet. Chase Rogers. But whoever it is we get what? to play. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Continue on. Jack uh, no. Boyd didn't no, sign. See, look, this Hopefully is the kind of stuff I'm February. talking about. All these people signing. Everybody rolling on. My favorite player, the dude I want to see ball out, the dude who I saw do a backflip from, from flat foot. Of course, he's waiting until February. Got to string me along. It's stringing us along out of Valdosta, Georgia, but but if he gets there, I think so. He's going to be a I dog. I think so. I heard some people say that, sure. that, that he's a little raw. The question um, is, the- but I, I I mean, if you just look at his athleticism, like that kind of stuff has to be on the field. I, I know he's you know not as tall as you would like in a corner, but I feel like the dude is a dog, and I feel maybe I'm wrong, but I, I, I he, there's a reason why I'm the most excited to see him on the field. Who he? You told me he reminded you of another corner out of Georgia yeah, that we got one year. He gonna, he gonna throw all that on his shoulders. I said Pac Man a little say? bit. He reminds me of Pac Man. Excuse me, excuse me, Mister Jones, Adam Jones. Um, I feel like his fight. That's the thing. Um, I watch him. His feistiness. His his ready to you know mix it up. And he's not that big, but he's just saying he's not scared of anybody. That's what I love. And then you add the pure athleticism. I don't care about his height. When you have somebody who's not scared, who 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 is ready just to get into it, who's ready to follow the lead and roll call and all that good stuff, that's why I'm excited to see him. Um, and and hopefully he signs. What? Well, yeah, and there's no reason to believe he won't. Me too. Uh, I just wish he would have signed earlier. It would have made me feel a lot better. Um, but this year we didn't cover well, and I think that. I think that's why our defense looked the way it did for the mo- for most of the season. Gibby's defense is predicated on being able to blitz. He can't blitz if we can't cover one-on-one, and we could not cover one-on-one. We couldn't. Our homework is to find def- defensive backs in this system cover that's one-on-one. Imperative. You have to be able to do it. And that's the homework that we have. And obviously, if we know it, Gibby knows it. Y'all know our motto, and Gibby, we trust the man from Van. It's not bashing, but it, it's homework season, and we feel like that's what he's got to find. Whether he recruits it or whether they coach it up, 
It's got to be done. If our defense is going to be successful, if our team's going to be successful, if we're going to be able to win 10 or more games, get to New York six, New Year six, or maybe a playoff game while winning the Big 12, we're going to have to have that secondary, the corners, get better at man-to-man coverage, get better at locking down receivers in the Big 12. This year we didn't have it. Next year we hope for it. And really, that's all I no, got. I mean, got I think we else, all, uh, you know, we have homework assignments for uh, special teams. I think we all kind of. <laughs> I, I want to say I feel like our special teams, we covered well. I felt like we covered well on punt coverage and kickoff for, uh, return coverage. I thought we did an excellent job in those two I areas. I feel like all the, we always long. had a letdown somewhere. Like here, don't get me wrong. I feel like in some areas, but like I feel like every game there was a letdown in some area of special teams. I know special teams encompasses a lot of stuff. I just feel like there was a letdown at some point. And if you have a letdown every game, I can't say you played good special teams. Sorry. No, I didn't no, say good no, special right, teams. I said right. our coverage was good. That, yeah. Uh, Marcus Sims led the Big 12 in return yeah. yards. Yeah, no, those are all average. positives. And like I said, this is not a... Gi- but you're right. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. We made... We, we, we made critical mental errors. And I feel like it's not just special teams, but this is a marking of a Dana Holgerson team in general. We make mental mistakes at critical times in the game every time we have an important game. Every time. And... It's to me most glaring on special teams. Utah game being fresh in our mind. How in the world does Marcus Sims not get out of the way? First of all, how does he not catch the ball? If you're not going to catch the ball, how does he not get out of the I way don't of get the it. ball? And I, I just watch other teams. I don't make, get it. They make but this is uh, a uh, fielding a punt look so easy, and I'm so jealous. I look and they just, boop. and then we get to us, and I got to hold my breath every time the ball's kicked. Well, no, we haven't had to hold our breath, which is why special teams seems like it's good because it's so much better than the days when Dana actually took a returner off the field because we couldn't return punts. We've come so far that we, that we think we're good. Just because we come far doesn't mean we're good. Our homework assignment is to be competent in special teams, to be competent and to stop making mental errors. Um, and it's going to help. We got a good kicker out of Western Kentucky uh, that, that's gonna, that signed with us. Um, Angus Davies, the Australian punter, should be signing in uh, February. And they're going to be there to, to push those that are in front of them. We'll see what they got. We'll see. And by the way, Billy Kinney pu- uh, punted well yeah. in the heart of Dallas. Oh, Bowl. he did. He really did. Uh, but but overall, it's not good enough. And the homework is to be competent. And Dana says he puts that on his shoulders. <laughs> you said it. We'll see. <laughs> you said it. So... Let's see what they got. But as always, let's go Mountaineers. Oh, and, and by the way, if we said something, if we did something, if there's anything we don't said or did up. that maybe you just can't forgive, please don't forget. <laughs> we also hate Pitt. We also nope, hate That Pitt. is not it, though. <laughs> I did what I know. I, I, look, I was trying it's to stop you. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's my thing. <laughs> I do want to know, Brandon, for our year, I'm going to put you on the spot because I don't know if you've, you've thought about it. Do you have one moment – during this year that you just particularly enjoy? Do you have one Mountaineer moment? Because, look, I feel like a lot of times we get in the moment where we're always looking to the next game, and then we look – sometimes we don't just enjoy the moment, and we don't look at the positives. Do you have a moment of this year, Mountaineer football football season, that you just – I don't know. You could look back on – Will Greer – Will Greer to – to Will Greer's play against Kansas State, extending the play at the end of the half, touchdown in the end zone. That, to me, was what I've been wanting out of a quarterback for years, and we finally have it. And that was a joyous moment. We we experienced that at Gressos on high in Columbus, so that made it even better. Um, But that was a great Um, moment for me. You know me, I love quarterbacks. Kenny Robinson's pick sixes – Daniels pick six, take it to the house. I mean, immediately that started playing in my house, uh, in my head. Um, I love all those moments, but you know what? I really enjoyed. I enjoyed uh, and and don't kill me. <laughs> I feel like this is. I feel like this is Friday Night Lights all over I'm listening. again. <laughs> um, the one of the moments I really did just enjoy more than you know most of the year, and I, it was in a loss. But that first game up in D.C. against Virginia Tech. Um, 
the energy, the crowd, the tailgate, and then watching our players. And granted, it didn't go the way we wanted to. Um, but the excitement of coming down to the finish, the, the game ended pretty much on a last play, you know, throw to the end zone. Um, and leaving that game, I had so much hope. Uh, I just, I don't know. I look back on, on that experience and don't get me wrong. I hate Virginia Tech, but um, the experience um, was good. You know, that that's one of my highlights from, from, from this year. Yeah, it, it was it was a lot of fun. So I, I I agree with you. It was a lot of fun. I can't call it a highlight <laughs> for obvious reasons, but it was it was a lot of fun. But that's gonna do it for us. Unless you got anything <laughs> no, else to surprise you with. That's gonna do it for us. It's gonna do it for this part of the Raspberry Voice Kids. Next up, check us out. <laughs>